when do we use this article? Nah, before we know how to use article the like usual, look at this example. There's an apple in the fridge. The apple is green. So, why I am saying the apple, not the apple? Do you know why? Yes, apple. Yeah, after the the word is apple. Apple. It is started by vowel, vowel a, the apple, and it has also vowel sounds. Yeah, apple. So that's why when the word which has vowel sound, uh, started by article the. We must pronounce it the, not the. Yeah, so the apple is green. If a word uh, is started by the and the word has vowel sound, it must be pronounced the. So, sayang. In this case, apple, it is started by vowel sounds, yeah? Vowel, vowel A. That's why I'm saying the apple, not the apple, yeah? Like, uh, I will give you another example. Um, orange, yeah? Do you know orange, right? Do you like orange? So, I will say the orange, not the the orange but the orange so every word which is tight uh, so every word which is started by vowel and it has vowel sounds and we must pronounce it the apple or the orange not the of apple or the orange yeah okay there's an apple in the fridge and the apple is green. I am using N for the first sentence. I'm using D for the second sentence. Why? Because the apple that I am talking about is the same apple. Yeah. The green apple is the apple in the fridge. Yeah. The apple in the fridge is green. So, I'm talking about the same apple here. Is it clear enough my explanations to the friends? You don't understand yet? Okay, now take a look to this. Now, this one. This what this, this example and this example. I am at Bandung. I stay at a hotel in Bandung. And the second, I stay at Rocky Hotel. Now, I am at the hotel. Now, look at this. In the first sentence, I'm using a hotel. And in the second sentence, I'm using the hotel. Why I'm using a and why I'm using the hotel? The first, the first, I am at Bandung. I stay at a hotel in Bandung. We don't know the specific hotel I'm staying at. There are many hotels in Bandung, right? More than 10 hotels in Bandung. And we don't have idea about what hotel I am staying at. Yeah? Look at the second. I stay at Rocky Hotel. Yeah? At Rocky Hotel. And now I am at the hotel. So we know that now i am at rocky hotel rocky hotel and the hotel and the second sentence is the same hotel is it clear do you get the point not yet okay that's okay let's come to another slide to make you more understand this one now look at this i am at bandung i am at a hotel in bandung not specific yeah not specific we don't know what hotel 
I am staying at. Telling the hotel for the first time. Yeah. In this sentence, the speakers, or in this case, I am telling the hotel for the first time. I am at Bandung. In this sentence, I'm not talking about hotel, but I'm talking about Bandung. I tell you that I am at Bandung. And in the second sentence, I mentioned hotel for the first time. I stay at a hotel in Bandung. Yeah, It's not specific and it's telling the hotel for the first time. And look at this example. I stay at a rocky hotel. And now I am at the hotel. It's specific. Why it's specific? Because you and I know that I stay at Rocky Hotel and now I am at the hotel. So the hotel in this sentence means Rocky Hotel. So it's talking about the same hotel. Yeah, that's specific and telling the hotel for the second time. So after looking at the examples, and then now we come to the explanation yeah when do we use article the so article the is used when we mention the noun for the first time using a or an and then we want to mention the same noun for the second time so we must use the now the example there's an apple in the fridge the apple is green so in this sentence the green apple is in the fridge yeah, we are talking about the same apple. There's an apple in the fridge and the apple is green. So, the apple in the fridge has green color. That's what this sentence means. Yeah, now take a look to this example. I am at a hotel or I am at the hotel. Yeah, when we say I am at the hotel, it means we've known already what hotel we are talking about. Yeah, we have known the specific hotel. But when we say I am at a hotel, it means it can be at any hotel, not a specific hotel. Yeah, it can be at Pangeran Hotel, at Alpha Hotel, or it, at Rocky Hotel, or in any hotel. Yeah, that, that's not specific. Okay, now we come to past one, true or false. So, you must add and answer these questions in your app puzzle video. And it's about true or false. Are you ready? Alhamdulillah. Number one, a principle. Yeah, a principle. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. Principle, the word is started by consonant P. And it has also consonant sound. So, a principle is a correct answer. Yeah, a principle. Consonant P. What about number two? A student. A student. Yes, it's true again. A student. Look at that. It is started by S. As you know, S is consonant and it has also consonant sound as a student. Let's come to number three. A eraser. A eraser. True or false? Tana! It's false. Why? Because the word eraser it started by vowel and it has also vowel sound. So it must be an eraser, not a eraser. Let's come to number four. 
Number four, a pencil case. A pencil case. Is it true or false? Yes, it's correct. It's true. Pencil case. It started by consonant and has consonant sound. A pencil case. Okay, I still have four more questions for you. Here we go. Okay, number five. A notebook. A notebook. Is it true or false? Yay! It's true. Notebook. It started by consonant and it has also consonant sound. So that's why we use a, not m. A notebook. Number six. A pen. A pen. Is it true or false? Yay! True! A pen, it is started by P. P. And it's consonant and also has consonant sound. Number seven. A folder. A folder. F. Yeah? F. True or false? Yes! It's true! A folder, it started by F and it's also consonant sound. A folder. And the last question, number 8. An eraser. Yeah? And I know that you have found the answer directly. An eraser is true. Because eraser started by vowel E and also has vowel sounds. Great job, dear. Masha Allah. Okay, sayang. Uh, before we close this lesson, there are things you should know when you finish this. Yeah. Here, I give you the summary. And you can read by your own. This is the summary. Uh, when do we use A and 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 also the the. Okay. Thank you for your nice attention. I hope you guys understand about the lesson. The first lesson, still remember, right? It's about things you need for school. The second is about people at school and the vocabulary related to school. And the third is about the use of articles A and and the. Okay, thank you. Let's close our program by reciting Hamdalah together. Alhamdulillah, ya Rabbil Alamin, kafaratul majlis, please. Subhanakallahumma, abihamdika, adu Allah, ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka, wa atubu ilaih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.